Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm, I'm gonna make a video about Jordan College. Wait, no, it's my channel. No. <laughs> channel if you're new hi i'm lantana and i see you guys all in this video today i'm not by myself i'm with misha hi so actually guys this is our second time shooting this content because the first one was during summer so we were shooting this video and then after that we realized that there were a lot of wind and that's why the sound was like really bad that's why fancy didn't post anything Like the video was like so shitty so that's why we retake another one and make this video happen for you guys the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of my subscribers keeps asking me about different colleges Probably like the majority is like asking about George Brown or Centennial So I've got Misha, he studied in George Brown before So I just want to kind of like share his experience So you guys can kind of like get some insight if you're planning to apply to George Brown College So this video is kind of like, like a video review or maybe like a podcast Okay so I just kind of like pull out all of the questions that you guys ask in the comments so I kind of like pull it down on my phone over here yeah let's just jump into the video guys okay can you kind of like please introduce yourself to the audience sure so my name is Misha and I'm from Ukraine came here two years and a half ago and my first college was George Brown in Ukraine back in Ukraine I got bachelor degree in the business marketing and then I came here for the marketing program in George Brown yeah so that's how I get here so I just want to know why did you choose George Brown College on the very first place? I applied from Ukraine and I was using help of the agency. When I was applying there, I checked all of the like, different programs in the different colleges in Toronto. And one of the programs I really liked in my previous program back in Ukraine, my major was business administration, but one of the subjects was marketing. And I really like this subject, so I decided to kind of like deepen my knowledge in this field. So I was looking only for marketing programs in Toronto, and one of the programs was in George Brown. Plus, I also asked my agency how is this college, and they told me that this college is really good. It's located in downtown of Toronto, which I really like, and yeah, so that's why basically I chose this program. Do you think you would recommend this program or maybe like George Brown College to people? I would say like this. So I would recommend George Brown College. This college was really nice. Uh, I mean like uh, in terms of like communication with international students. Like whenever I call, like whenever I like write email or just like go to the international center to ask questions I had at the time. They were very helpful, like they kind of helped me with like everything, provided all the necessary information, even more than that. It was really good. It was really decent. But in terms of program, I wouldn't recommend this program and I would tell you why. So the first thing, this program was really out of date. I would say this program was very good maybe seven or eight years ago, but like right now it's like really outdated and then with the skills and this knowledge, uh, you wouldn't be able to find like a good job in the marketing field. That's why I didn't really like this program. This was like my probably biggest thing that I didn't like. Also, some of the teachers weren't really helpful in this program. Some of them were. If I would say how many stars would I give to this program, I would say probably three or four. You went to Seneca, right, for the second program. Then for the first year was George Brown, right? What kind of like advantage or disadvantage can you kind of like share to the people out there who want to kind of like apply either in George Brown or Seneca? So I can say only about different programs. So I can say only about strategic relationship marketing in George Brown and social media in Seneca. Because I don't know any other programs, like I don't have friends who are taking other programs. So I'm like talking only about these two different programs. I would say I like Seneca much more because program was more up to date you know like we were getting like knowledge that like we will definitely like gonna use I mean like not not all of knowledge but like most of the knowledge like that we were like learning was relevant like up to this time so this was very good I don't really know about like Seneca I mean like communication with international students because with George Brown it was like really good as I told you before but like with like Seneca I kind of like write an email and then like I had to wait for like a couple days mm -hmm. then I then I have to call and then like nobody mm -hmm. like answer the phone yeah so that was like not very good but like program social media program i would say it was much better like i would say it was like probably seven out of ten for me 
What do you like the most? Like the facilities, like the campuses between Seneca and Georgetown. So in Georgetown, I was studying only in one campus. It was right in the downtown. I think it was St. George campus. Yeah. It was pretty good. Like the the building wasn't big enough. It used to be like a bakery before and then like 20 years ago it was made into college. Mm -hmm. But everything was there. I mean like if you're hungry there's like a cafeteria. It was very nice. Like the classes were small but at the mm -hmm. same time it was everything was there. So mm -hmm. I didn't have any issues with the like facility and it was in the downtown. So this is like a very big advantage if you just come into Toronto because you know you're around in the... In the heart of yeah, Toronto, right? Yeah, in the yeah. heart of Toronto, exactly. Like you can go up to the classes, like you can go to like some malls, mm -hmm. like you know, there's like a lot of restaurants, mm -hmm. so it was very nice. So, can you kind of like tell us how many campuses there are and what are their locations? Yeah, so in Jared Brown, as far as I know, there are three campuses. I was in two of them, and there two of them are located in downtown of Toronto, and there's one which is located in Midtown. I was studying in St. George campus. There's also Waterfront campus, which is very close to Lake Ontario, and there is one. Casa Loma campus, which is in the Midtown, but all of the marketing programs, as far as I know, they are all located in St. George campus. I want the audience to know about the tuition fee as well for international students for your program. I think it was more or less the same as in Seneca. It was three semesters. First semester was studying in class. Second semester was a co-op semester. So like we had to find a job or like co-op or like internship for the four months. We had to work for the company. And then the last semester was also semester in class. So for these 12 months, I think the tuition fee was around 17,000 Canadian dollars. For the first two semesters, it was 16.5 thousand dollars and then for the co-op semester i think i paid 450 dollars just for the work preparation class and then some workshops gonna prepare like how to write resume mm -hmm. how to behave at the like In interviews right at the interviews yeah all that stuff so it was around 450 dollars so altogether it was around 17 thousand dollars that was the tuition fee in 2018 but probably 2021 it's gonna be like really different yeah, that, so yeah. it's not gonna be the same we just want to kind of like point that out I'm, guys I'm, i mean it's gonna be more or less the same because yeah. like every year they kind of increase the electrician fee uh, they kind of adjust it to the inflation rate so right. it should be like maybe like two or three maybe like five percent max if you guys have watched our Seneca video, like the social media program review, like books and supplies are not really that necessary to purchase. So I just want to know what about in George Brown College? So in George Brown College, in the beginning, all of the professors told us like, do not purchase like any books, anything. Like we're gonna just use presentations and that's it. And one of the professors told us like, you need to kind of buy the book, the, like this like mandatory because like without the book, you won't be able to finish my course. So I I bought this book but actually like we use it like maybe like once or twice so it's still like somewhere in my place i want to sell it because i don't need it like and this is just like useless so i just want to kind of like stress this one out too you know yeah. probably like books and supplies you don't need to kind of like purchase the ones that is new or maybe like in the college because some students sell old ones as well and it's also useful too you can use it like during your classes so they usually sell those used books on kgg or facebook market or even like the college students group like probably like Seneca student Facebook group or maybe George Brown College Facebook groups as well so you can kind of like get in touch with them and then just ask the prices as well because like most of the used books are cheaper compared to the new ones it costs like a lot right like around like hundreds of dollars for just one book so yeah it's like depends on the book but like yeah. I would say like on average like $200 mm -hmm. maybe like what 150 and then if your professor like tell you like you need to buy like the latest version of this book mm -hmm. Usually like you can just buy like old version is gonna be yeah. like a little bit different because uh, you know a Publishing company like need to kind of sell the books every year to kind of make money But they're basically like the same mm -hmm. just a little bit different which is not very you know very important for you I just want to kind of like know about uh, what did you learn on this program? So as far as I remember like all of the courses were pretty basic if you already have like knowledge in this field it wouldn't be very useful for you it just like you know if you don't have any knowledge at all it will be useful but like if you have like a little bit of knowledge like it just like it's not very useful and there was also a very useful course in my opinion mm -hmm. it was like a project so we had to find a company and then this company had to give us some kind of like task to kind of solve for them so our company was home hardware and then basically we analyzed like all of the data and we had to figure out whether the loyalty program working or not and if not how we can improve this loyalty program so it was very useful but other courses it was just basic and yeah that's that's what can i say
How does the co-op work in George Brown College? Uh, the co-op is like mandatory, so if you don't... But it depends on the program, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean like in my program, in the strategic relation marketing, it was mm -hmm. it was mandatory. And then, mm -hmm. as far as I know, most of the programs in George Brown, they have mandatory co-op programs. So mm -hmm. if you don't pass uh, the co-op course or like internship, you won't be able to finish this program and get a diploma. George Brown kind of helps you to get co-op. They kind of create like a website where all of the employers that are interested uh, to kind of have like internship or like or like co-op specialist for them they are gonna provide all the information and then all the students like have to apply and find co-op or, or like internship on their own some people can get paid co-op or like paid position some people just take like a you know unpaid stuff which is also okay I think like I spent probably like one week I kind of just send different application to like different companies on this website on Joe Brown and then some of them called me back and then I went for the interview and then I got a unpaid position but after four weeks I successfully finished my cop. That is it for the video. If you guys have like further questions, you can just comment down below. And if you want to ask Misha directly, you can just check his Instagram that will be on the link below, or maybe I'm just gonna put it over here too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to kind of like recommend us more content, you can just feel free to comment down below and yeah if you haven't clicked the bell icon please click it so you can get like notification whenever i post a new video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well it's fun it's free it's lit so why not and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you on the next video bye guys bye, bye.